Just before we start this interview, just tell me a little about yourself. Uh, my name is Chris Lavatai. Um, originally from Hawaii, but uh, my dad uh, opened up a restaurant in Lake Tahoe. So I moved up there when I was young and actually grew up there. But um, came down here um, in the late 90s. My brothers went to school at Menlo and um, that's where I met everybody. So. So who are your musical influences? Um, I have a wide variety. I grew up um, singing um, just musical family, you know. So <clears throat> we, uh, I would have to say, like, I, I listen to a lot of gospel music. Um, some artists like Stephen Curtis Chapman, Crystal Lewis. Uh, I also like, um, I listen to a lot of R&B um, Earth, Wind & Fire, Luther Vandross, um, those are probably some of my favorite big influences. I guess what I noticed from you, like, I just was interviewing Oni, and he was, he's like the raga rapper guy, like, yeah. I guess that's kind of his influence to the band, and then I feel so, sort of that soul, yeah, soul yeah. vibe when I hear your voice, and what makes the group unique. <laughs> Definitely. What do you do for a living outside of One Groove? Um, well, I actually um, just got done working on the street corner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they call me, uh, I'm, I'm the male gigolo of the band, so <laughs> any of you girls out there needing some assistance for bachelorette parties or anything like that, <laughs> check us out on MySpace. I think get uh, contact info on that, so that's what I'm known for. <laughs> Besides music, what do you enjoy doing? Um, I like to play lap songs on my guitar <laughs> and um, uh, write write poetry, um, haiku poems, and um, I like to do uh, calligraphy. Oh wow! Totally different from the other guys, but unique. Yeah. <laughs> What's your most memorable moment with the band? Um, I would definitely have to say, um, first time we played, uh, Pipeline Cafe in, um, in Hawaii. And, um, I think it was just so, so much fun for me because our families, it was right before we, I, we released, uh, our CD and it was the first time we played back home in a long time. And, uh, it was just a good, good time. Like my, all of our families and friends, everybody was there and, we just had so much fun. The concert was off the hook. And um, I don't know, it just was good feelings. And mm -hmm. a lot of our friends were just so happy, especially our family, to see us play live. It was a really good time. So that's probably one of my favorites. You know, with um, One Groovy, is three vocalists, you on the end, BZ. Why is BZ so small compared to you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a good story about BZ. This When he first started singing with us, we were doing a show um, for Hooky Lab, but it was when they had a place in San Francisco, in um, Japantown. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was so funny, man. This BZ, his image, uh, he always had, like, snacking, like, grinding, like, musubis or something, you know. He always had, like, food. And as a singer, like, if you sing, you know, when you, you cannot 
perform and, and yeah. eat like while you're singing because obviously there's food yeah. in your mouth. And uh, we we're in the middle of a set and, you know, local kind, they had food on the side. And uh, I look over and we're in the middle of a song and Bee Gees grabbing Musubis <laughs> and he's eating like as we're singing. And uh, that, that guy is just so funny, man. Like, you know, he's the littlest, but he definitely can hold his own when it comes to grinding with us. Cause, yeah. I actually yeah. noticed he's catching up to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's working on it, but this took this took some time. This took some 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 work. It didn't just happen overnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel yeah. you. I get that same problem. <laughs> I don't know if a problem or blessing, yeah. but... to say to your friends family that um helped you along the way in your musical just, career you know um just thank you you know i have so many people in my family everybody that um just supported us and always always um just believed that we could do it you know and, and um i'm just blessed i mean being in this band like definitely it's uh i think that we're put together for some reason you know i mean uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of bands out there, and I mean, we've gotten to do so much cool stuff that I think uh, definitely you can tell. I mean, we're, we've been blessed, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, we, we have had so many uh, achievements and, you know, been able to do some really cool tours and stuff. Like I said earlier, I mean, all of us have nine to five jobs, so it's just a, a great getaway to be able to play music and do something that you love. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Is there any concert or gig or show that you guys did? You can be opening up for a bigger act like Fiji or Three Plus mm -hmm. or which one would you say was your most memorable or your favorite or just someone open you opening up for sharing the stage with? Yeah, um, probably back in the day, um, my brother Dira used to be in the band mm -hmm. originally, and. Uh, that was probably one of my favorite shows was uh, his last show he did with us. We played at Backbeat, which is Avalon now. But um, we used to do, we started that place just to let everybody know. <laughs> it used to be, um, they used to do um, the Hawaii Tropic Girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, yeah. we used to play there every Thursday night for like uh, once a month. And uh, before he moved back home to Hawaii and he actually left the band, uh, his last show with us was was a hype show it was unreal like all of our friends it was just like a big party it wasn't even like mm -hmm. um you know we were celebrating my brother getting to go back home and uh it was just a good time it was so much fun like to be able to share that with our friends and it was more just like we were playing backyard you know like yeah. it wasn't even on stage but it that was the good thing was it, it just was real good energy and everybody a lot of love so well what instrument <clears throat> or what 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 did your brother used to he used to play um, guitar mm -hmm. and um, ukulele and then sing. Mm -hmm. And when he left the band, we brought in Jose to play um, rhythm guitar and then uh, Beadsy also to sing, to fill in for vocals. So oh, okay. so that was the actual original back in the day. But uh, but yeah, was, that's what my brother did. So, um, How was it recording a song with him? Was it 
Diving in the Dirt? Yeah, yeah. How was how was that on the first oh, album? It was nice, man. My my actual when we were recording that song, um, we had my oldest brother fly up too, so he had his family up here and they got to be in the studio with us mm-hmm. and it just was like a family affair. It was cool. Um, and I was so proud to be able to, mm-hmm. you know, have my brother on the C D. Um He even but, came up when he was playing at the yeah, birthday bash, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was that. That was so much fun. That's one thing about this family, uh, our, our one groove, the family, you know. We always have, like, um, no master backs. Well, mm-hmm. being is actually Chris Conolo's yeah. brother. And um, so we invited him up at Birthday Bash mm-hmm. one year, too. And, you know, I mean, we just want to share the experience with everybody. I mean, you know, for us, it's just, you know, let's make the party bigger. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So. Do you have any um, words of encouragement or wisdom for young and up-and-coming musicians? Just stay true, man. Just if you write music, if you play music, it's all about love. It, it's all about coming from the heart, you know. So just believe in yourself. Believe you can do it, and it can happen. So. Okay, one quick final question. Is it some sort of a, I don't know, luck, not luck, but like, how is it that there's three Chris's in the group? <laughs> That's such a popular name, I guess, back in the day. But um, the only Chris that you have to remember is me. <laughs> uh, the rest of them, they, uh, you come to our show, I'm the center. I'm in the middle of the stage. So these other guys, you don't, you don't have to worry. Just remember Chris Lavatai, a.k.a. Big Island. So... <laughs> That's all you got to worry about. Little Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Kono. Yeah. He's not so good. I could play guitar better than him, you know. That's actually me playing on a lot of the songs, but I let him get the glory. So, got to give him something, yeah. you know. Okay, right on. I'm one step closer, baby. I'm one step closer, girl. Okay. One step closer, girl. Okay. Okay. I'm <clears throat> one step closer, baby. I'm one step closer, girl. One step closer, baby, one step closer to you. Okay, um, we asked all the band members this, but I'm going to ask you this as well. What is your most funniest moment with One Groove? It could either be at a show, during a practice, or just whenever. Okay, so, funniest time with the band was one time we were in Seattle and uh, we got done playing a show we were on tour and uh, we decided we wanted to go eat before we went back to the hotel and uh, we ended up eating we, were, we we got done grinding and then we were heading back to the hotel and we must have got Jose was like oh I gotta run back inside he forgot something so he ran back inside the restaurant and for some reason we we drove away without him we got almost back to the hotel and they're like, hey, where's Jose? Because, you know, we stay in one of those big 15 passenger vans. Right, right. And uh, so we had to turn around. And <laughs> right. <laughs> actually, you know what? I actually heard about that one. Was that Jose be this guy? Right <laughs> <here>? <laughs> yep. Actually, yeah. I was there and that was pretty funny. <laughs> cool. Yeah. You know, I, I agree. That was pretty funny. That was a good okay. time. One last question, and, and the other band members told me to ask you this, is how did Kanoho get the nickname Sherbert? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're in Las Vegas, and uh, we're eating, and, you know, Kanoho is a dessert brother, so he would ask the server if uh, the restaurant carried any Sherbert. <laughs> But the way he said it was kind of, I'm not even going to say it, but like you stay coming from San Francisco, Bay Area. Ah, I see, I see. The thing that made it worse too was uh, that day when we did the concert, they had a, I forget the guy who was there, some comedian who was doing the hosting. 
And when Kanoho, he asked Kanoho where he's from, the way he stood was kind of like with his hand <laughs> like this on his hip. And what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> <He's a motherfucker. laughs> yeah, so... Anyways, Kanal lives up to the part. He's married, but yeah. he's married. Um, coming from the Bay Area. Yeah. yeah. That brother is a brother. Okay, yep. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Good <laughs> Lord. All right. Oh. That was good. <laughs>